I think I'll stick to first person for now. Because that's what I'm used to. <laughs> Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest hmm. greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Bat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and mm. smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Yeah, it sounds like a normal story to there. tell a child. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it. Thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm, I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Why did I marry her again? We'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Okay, there's the menu. Okay, so... It's a lot quieter than I remember. But as well as I need to move something outside the game so I can see it. All right. Hmm. Hello. It's okay. They're there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
My debut could have gotten better, but oh well. Almost there, honey. Well, I mean, I it's just started, so I guess it could go better from my technical issue. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Aren't you supposed to put the blanket on top of the baby? Ah, there you are. Is she okay? Sleeping like a... Uh, well, like a baby. Mmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de lagum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> Mia! Get down! Mia! Oh, she did. Mia. Oh, God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? And this is why you don't get married. Because your wife might be killed instantly. <laughs> don't move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. <laughs> you bitch. Rose. Hey doc. hey, doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No, no problem. We'll be there. That was the that doc. Was the doc. She'll, She'll see us see next, week. next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked, we talked about, about this. this. I, know. I know. We hardly we talk about anything else. else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Nato. Also, I have no idea if I have anyone in my chat right now. But that's fine, anyways.
Jesus. Oh. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off my What the am? What the hell happened to you? Useless. Mission objectives. Eliminate target. Recover body. Secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winters to the Saint C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Wow, that car got fucked up. Shit. Someone put up their ass. There's shit everywhere. Anyways. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Am I not going the right way? No idea where the fuck I'm going. <laughs> Ouch. It fucking hurt. Oh, that's a lot of dead birds. <sighs> Jesus. That was actually a late reaction for me. <laughs> I didn't mean to be that late. Excuse you, can you, you mind stopping by for a moment, tell me where the fuck I am? I'd be grateful. Just rope. Nothing. So everything in this household is useless. <laughs> Excuse you. Basement. Perfect. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, 
Holy shit, I found Crow Jesus. If I can get the picture correctly. Yep, Crow Jesus. There is blood on this. Okay. Jesus! Okay. Someone apparently doesn't like people in this house. Indeed, blood. What did all this? My ass. Pennsylvania. Wee. Is it weird that I actually do like riding down in the snow? That is a very Dead big ass horse. <laughs> Out of cages and ship, no animals. There's some blood there. Do not enter. Well, it sucks for you. I don't like reading. you I shouldn't have said that, but yeah. <laughs> Locked due to missing ho homeowner. <gasps> Chickens! Did they just run out of the house? <laughs> no, no, 
I'm friendly. Friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down the road and... What's going on? Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? It's all it's back. Take it! Take it! Tell me what's out there. Hey, are you listening? Hey! Well, he's uh. dead. Dead body? Wait, there's more. Wait, why does it say infinite? Hold on. I mean, change can only be changed in the main menu. Fuck. Okay, the next time I find a safe spot, I need to change that. I'm not doing infinite ammo. Why is infinite ammo on? Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with this place? Jesus! There goes my fingers. What the hell? Yeah, I don't like infinite ammo because that takes away the, like the, the fucking challenge of the game. How is it turned on? There we go. Now, just how far away am I from a safe spot? That is the question.
can barricade doorways with shells. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus. That's a dead body. Bitch. Bitch. Jesus, how many of you fuckers are there? There's no end to them. Time to run. Okay. Bitch. Fuck away from me. You're kidding me.
Whatever I make. She's a friend. Oh god! Oh, bitch! Where the fuck are you? Sorry, I had to. 